Hello to this video is called Three Questions for Lucky. Today is November 16, 2022. I am going to address day 23rd, November 15, 2022 of the public inquiry to the federal government for invoking the Emergency Act on February 2022. Yesterday we had Brenda Lucky, the RCMP commissioner on the stand, and she was in a panel of two with Mike Duhim, that is the RCMP deputy commissioner. In this short video, I will not recap the witness complete testimony. I just have three questions for Lucky. Question number one, why was she in a panel and not alone? As we know, the RCMP role is to enforce the federal criminal law. And in previous testimonies, we had understand witnesses as law. And I say law between quotes because I have deep respect for Superintendent Patrick Morris, who was on day five, and he was alone in the stand. But Lucky, that is the highest rank officer in the RCMP, you can see she's four levels up. She was together with somebody else. So it's not making a lot of sense because if the RCMP role is to enforce the federal criminal law, and on February 7, Diane Deans, who was the witness on day five, and she is the Ottawa City Councillor and Chair of Board. Actually, she was. She's not anymore. And Mary Watson sent a letter to a crime minister, Amendo Chino, the prime the, sorry, the Minister of Public Safety saying, given the scope and scale of the Armada of large trucks that are no, now occupying our downtown core, we're writing today to ask to secure 1,800 officers. We must do everything in our power to take the streets of Ottawa from the criminal activity and hooliganism over the last nine days. First off, not true. Second, if it's true that there was criminal activity, why is the highest authority in federal criminal law not alone in the stand? Clearly, doesn't make sense. Question number two. Why was she wearing a mask in the stand? How do I know is that really her? Is this legally allowed? If she's sick, why is she there? If she's not sick, why is she wearing a mask? So there are two options. The first one is that she's convinced that there is a magical virus. That's dangerous because she's supposed to be logical fact-based and impartial, like all police officers. Option number two, she's not convinced, but she's trying to convince us. That's even more dangerous. She knows it's a lie, but it's a useful tool to silence people, to reduce them, to isolate them, and she's using it. Which one is it? Question number three, why doesn't she know the scope of her role? In the stand, she said, I didn't know the implications of invoking the act. Why not? Her role is to know everything related to policing, monitoring and punishing criminals, including the crime minister. But sadly, as we all know, there are multiple scandals that involve him and nothing has been investigated. This is irresponsible, unprofessional and very dangerous to Canadians. Even the propaganda paid by the state seems to see the truth. Here, Toronto Sun published the violence the Prime Minister has expressed concern about during the three-week protests in Ottawa didn't unfold until Justin Trudeau's Emergencies Act Police Army was sent in to disperse the crowd. And obviously they published the horses trampling on the Canadians. How is this not criminal? But remember the oath from the Prime Minister of this country. The allegiance is to the Crown. Here you can see it. And... He also vowed to keep secrets from all Canadians. He is not serving us. He's serving the Queen and any successor. Thank you very much for listening.